The following portion of Daytime Blue Ridge is sponsored by Halloween is right around the corner and you can still get your scare on the next couple of weekends. Here to tell us more is Anthony Giordano from Blue Ridge Nightmares. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. So <laughs> how was that for an introduction? <laughs> yeah. and the scare continues on the show today. So how is Blue Ridge Nightmares different from other haunted attractions? Well, I, I when I came to Roanoke, uh, I wanted to bring a little piece of Roanoke with my my in, initial uh, haunted attraction idea. So I what I did was I incorporated a lot of the history of Roanoke and utilized some of the, the sponsors and, and different people uh, and community people uh, to bring a little spice of Roanoke, a little slice of Roanoke to the haunted attraction. So we brought an old Micker Mac sign and Black Dog Salvage let us borrow a lot of their things. And uh, we have an old Grand Home Furnishings from the original Grand Home Furnishings and Lunsford and Son Insurance. So I, I copied a lot of things that were here from the early 1900s. Oh. And it really looks pretty so, cool. So there's some depth to this. Yes. Whew, scary. Yeah. So, okay. You also said, you know, you came to Roanoke, you have a history in film. So how does your background relate to how you create something like this? Um, well, you, you pick up a lot of little tricks and, and I try to pay a lot of attention to detail. So uh, some of the things that I've done throughout my career between Broadway and, and working on films and music videos and TV commercials, I try to utilize those things in uh, just the overall feel and, and the originality of some of the things that I do. <laughs> no kidding. We're watching this as you're talking as well. I am freaked out. So, yeah, it is. It's like a performance. Yeah. All our sets I mean, are pretty much movie sets. Uh, we're going to try to hopefully get some movies down here in Roanoke and create some jobs as well. Very neat. Yeah, I saw online you are, there's a place if you want to apply, right. you can you can do that as well. Yes, definitely. And Center of the Square really gave me a lot of freedom to create the way I would like to and uh, didn't give, give me like a regimented schedule. Uh, just basically be an artist and do what you do. And I really appreciate that. So Center of the Square is really trying to push the envelope and, and go a little bit above and beyond what I guess other cities might be doing. Well, we are so excited. Thank you so much for joining us Thank today. You. you guys at home, if you want more information, you can head on over to Blue Ridge Nightmares Facebook page right there on your screen.